The pandemic is far from being over, although there are some encouraging signs from the vaccination efforts, at least outside Europe. Nevertheless, financial market participants are less concerned about the pandemic and fear more about a further increase in inflation. And looking backwards, we already have seen that these fears have led to a substantial increase in yields on the longer end, particularly in the US. Now the question is, does the increase in inflation continue? And do we have a watershed in interest rates? At least for the coming month, we think inflation will go up. As there are some temporary factors, higher prices for transportation and commodities, as well as an increase in taxes and some measurement issues in Europe that will propel inflation. Regarding the longer term, there are also some concerns that some demographic changes and the huge amount of liquidity might feed inflation to go up on a permanent level. But we doubt that this will be the case. And this is mainly due to the fact that an ongoing increase in inflation would be based on an ongoing boom in economic terms. And seeing the negative implications of the pandemic on the longer term growth outlook and having in mind that the recovery does only come through amid very supportive financing conditions, this is a kind of a contradiction. So if we have a further increase in inflation, interest rates will go up, then this might kill the recovery. And on the flip side of this, we will see another fall in economic activity and inflation will come down again. So it's now up to the central banks to find the right balance in dilute the concerns about a very substantial increase in inflation and at the same time keep interest rates at a reasonably low level. So we think that central bankers will keep their supportive monetary stance at least in 2021 and because of that will remain upbeat on risky assets. Thank you.